Alrighty, it's just uh, Clayton Campbell here again in Dawson Creek driving a taxi. Uh, since you last heard me, heard from me, it was about actually an hour ago. I've had one trip since then. One trip, it is still really dead out, still really cold out. So, I'm still bored, but I figured out something I could talk to you about. To anybody who's ever wanted to know exactly how the meter works in a taxi, I am going to explain it to you. Okay. First of all, on the front driver's side wheel, there is a sensor that detects every time the, the wheel makes a full revolution and it clicks off, just like a click, 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 and every so many clicks, I'm not sure how many clicks it does, the meter goes up by 25 cents. In Dawson Creek, anyway, the rates are different, different towns, different provinces, states, what have you. But Dawson Creek here, it goes up by 25 cents at a total of $2 per kilometer. Now I'm going to show you the meter here. This is the meter in my taxi. Now keep in mind that what I'm about to show you is actually going to cost me money because uh, we're not allowed to actually press these buttons unless we uh, have people in the car. Anyway, so listen to this. What happens when somebody gets in the car, I say, hey buddy, where are you going? And he says, well, I'm going to the bar, I'm going to get drunk, I'm going to go buy some crack or something. So I say, okay, I press that button there. So the meter starts. Now every time somebody gets in the car and I press that button, automatic three dollars now that's to cover our losses if say buddy says I just want to drive one block away and drop him off at a house so that's just to say we drove all the way over there to pick him up and if we didn't start off at three dollars we'd probably only make fifty cents or something so we automatically make three bucks every time somebody jumps in the car and now it goes up by twenty five cents every so often you see that it goes up on a timer when the car comes to a complete stop that will go up twenty five cents every every minute or something like that. It's not very much. It's like 50 bucks an hour or something like that. Now, when the person want to get to the destination, the person wants to get out, well, I press this black button here. What that does is that times the meter. I mean, I'm sorry, that pauses the meter. So that, that number will not go up anymore. I say, hey, buddy, is this your final stop? Or are you like, you're coming back out? You want to continue on? He says, no, I'll be getting out here. So it's paused, and I would press the fare button. So we always do this because a lot of people don't know what they want. You know, they're drunk or they're high or whatnot. You say, oh, I want to go to this address, this bar. You're like, okay, we're here, buddy. It's like, oh, okay, no, 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 wait. I'll be right back out. I want to go somewhere else. That's why I press this button because that just times it. So like, oh, are you coming back out? Well, okay then. So the meter goes back on. So now it's still running, so we're waiting for Buddy to come out. That's if he comes out and doesn't rip us off. So let's just assume he gets out. I press this, this button here. I press that button there. Now I have the total amount of $3.50 for that ride. So I say, you know, give me my money, you, you goddamn motherfucker, and he gives me my money, and that's it. He gets out of the car, I press this button once more, and that's it. That's actually the time right now. It's not p.m., actually, it's a.m., but uh, it's kind of a piece of crap. So anywho, that's how the meter works in my car. Actually, I'm going to show you another another function of that meter, and that's how I cash out at the end of the day. People wonder how I make my money. Actually, I'm going to explain to you right here. I get 40% of what's on that meter. So if a fare comes up to $100, I get $40. People say, well, that may not seem like much, but it actually is. I make good money. I make about $250 to $300 a night in a 12-hour shift. But the way that the dispatch knows how much money I make is quite simple. I'll show you this. I press this black button here, this button there, and the black button again. And see these numbers come up. What that TF means, it means total shift. Total shift for $7,656.25. That is, actually isn't an, an a shift. That's just the, what the meter is at at this particular moment. So what happens when I come in the, in the very beginning of my shift, I give out this number and she, the dispatcher down at the office, she writes that down. And then what happens at the end of the shift is I give the same number, but as you already probably guessed, the number has gone up by how much I've made that shift. So what she does is she subtracts this number from the number at the end of my shift, and the interminable number is like, you know, $400 or whatnot. And then I get to keep 40% of the $400 or, or whatever it happens to be that day, and she takes the 60%. That's just how I do that. And if I'm just driving in the middle of the night, I just want to see how much money I made so far, I just press the black button twice and it shows I've made $272 so far tonight. 40% of which is mine. 
So that is how the meter works in the cabs in Dawson Creek, at least. I'm not sure if they're cabs. The, they work the same way in cabs all across the globe. In fact, I'm pretty positive they're very different. And as far as I know, people have told me that they've gone to bigger cities and uh, driven taxis there. Our cabs are actually pretty expensive. I don't know this for a fact, but word of mouth says it's true. So uh, that is how the meter works in a taxi cab in Dawson Creek.